three guitar riffs that I dare say sound better on the piano. So I'm not trying to start any feuds here like guitar versus piano. I actually really, really love the guitar. Here is riff number one. Isn't it pretty? Did you guess Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses? Because if you did, you were right. And doesn't it sound so pretty on the piano? So I'm gonna teach you exactly how to play this because it's easier than you might think. And then you can go impress all of your friends with this amazing guitar riff that sounds better on the piano. Here we go. So with your left hand, you're gonna play D. And you can play this D. You can play this D, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna start here. And then with this hand, you're gonna play D up high. So there it is. And then you're gonna play A. G, and then reach all the way up to this G. And then A, and then F sharp, which is this black key here, and then back to A. And the great news is that's all the right hand has to do for this whole thing. So we'll play the left, and then D. And then again. And then the left hand is gonna move up to E, and then this guy does the same thing. Repeats. And then left hand plays G, so right here. And back to D. If you can do that, you've got the whole thing nailed down. And so that sounds beautiful on its own, but one of my favorite things about this particular one is you could play like a fifth, you could get creative. Build some speed. And then you could go here. You could try playing that shape here. And I could just get lost for hours. But basically the idea is you should learn the riff. And then you should just kind of allow yourself some creativity. You could play any note that belongs to the D major scale in your left hand and you're gonna make something that sounds beautiful. So I've got another riff for you. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, I wanna see if you can guess it. This one's a stunner, so here we go. Stairway to heaven! And come on, if this one wasn't made for the piano, I don't know, I, well, I don't know. It's just so perfect on the piano. It's like, it almost feels like it was pulled out of the classical era. Uh, so I'm gonna teach you how to play this, but we have a full tutorial for this one on piano, just saying. So here's what I'm gonna have you do. I'm gonna have you take your left hand and I want you to place uh, your thumb on A. Then you take your right hand and play C, E, A. So it's kinda like this shape. Do, do, do. Then left hand goes right here to G sharp. And you're gonna hit it at the same time as you hit this B. E, C, B, and then you kind of scoot your five finger up to this high C while you play G here with your left hand. E, C, high C, and then F sharp with F sharp here. D, A, F sharp, and then this one goes to F, and we're gonna go to E here. That's a C, A, C, E, C, A. Now the hands are gonna do the same thing. G, A, A. So pretty. Um, you can play it there, you could play it up high. If you wanted something a little more delicate, but there's a lot you can do with this one. So you've got the notes, you know what to play. Go practice, go impress your friends, have some fun with it. I've got one more for you. This one's a crazy one. This is a bit of a wild card, so I'm gonna see if you can guess what this is. I bet you'll never guess before I play it. So just take a moment to wonder what I'm gonna play next. Okay, here we go. song it's like you turn that on it's like bow bow and it's so loud and aggressive like the Iron Man obviously but on the piano it sounds so pretty so you could make it sound you could play it low 
You can make it sound intense if you wanted to, but you could also play it up high. It sounds so pretty too. So I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that. Here we go. We're gonna begin with B. So it's actually, this first part is built off of a B minor chord, which is kind of cool. So, but you don't need to know. You just need to know to play B, D, and you can match the hands. And so what I did here is I actually borrowed from the D chord. So that's what the song is doing. It's going from a B minor to a D. But what you're hearing is the note B and then D. So here I just added an A underneath to harmonize it, to give it a little bit of oomph. And then you're gonna play D, E, E. And then you're gonna go up to G and you can just play and hold a G with this hand. Do, 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 do. So what did I do? G, F sharp, G, F sharp. Oh shoot, I forgot how many times. Do, 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 do. That's how many times. So G, F sharp, G, F sharp, G, F sharp, D. And then you're gonna go back to this shape. So we've got a D here, an A and a D here. So you could go just D, E, E, or you could play D and the A, and then B and the E. And that's basically the basis for it. So you can kind of just get comfortable there. You want to get comfortable there. If you're into chords, you could play that B minor chord. And then it goes to E minor, and then you can go up to the G. And then it goes back to the B minor. And then it goes to the E minor. I had to think about that for a second. But that's what's happening on a chordal level. I'm not really sure if chordal is even a word. I went with it. So that's how you play the intro to Iron Man. And like I said earlier, you could play it down low. If you want to be aggressive, or you could play it up high. I don't know why I just like lifted out of my seat to demonstrate up high. <laughs> Moving up. <laughs> So those are some ways that you can approach three iconic guitar riffs on the piano. Prove to the world that they probably definitely do sound better on the piano. But like I said, I'm not trying to start any fights. Comment below. Let me know what your favorite riff was. And then let me know who does it better, piano or guitar. All right, happy practicing. <laughs>